Jaja, the more things change, the more they seem to remain the same. Greetings, greetings, sports to the bone people. Another heavy defeat for West Indies. Another heavy defeat. I don't know, seems as if it's, it's a blessing why I wasn't home to witness this. I only saw bits and pieces of the game. So this is what I'm asking. My regular viewers and subscribers, I will be in the comment section, you know, I value the opinions that you guys put forward. So just go ahead and let me know what you all think about how each of the batsmen got out, how the bowlers did. You know, I will be going through the scorecard as per usual for those who didn't get a chance to see the game. But the usual ball by ball analysis that I would give, I am unable to give that today. Unfortunately, I am back to work as of today, so you don't know it. We're not, go, not going to get a chance to see all of the games. Anyways, I got a chance to see bits and pieces. I saw the latter part of our innings when we were bowling and the latter part of our batting. So it's going to be interesting to see the, in the comment section how you guys explain how the thing went. So for those who didn't actually see it or for those who want to just get a quick recap, so we were hammered basically um, just like how we hammered them in the second game so India they batted first and they scored 351 for 5 351 for 5 so they were able to bat out their allotted uh, 50 overs and you know they didn't lose more than half of the side so 5 wickets went down and you know we didn't go anywhere close to it we were actually bowled out for 151 when it was our time to bat in 35.3 overs so we lost that game there by 200 runs we lost the game by 200 runs my viewers and subscribers not good at all now in terms of um how it went for india they actually put together 143 runs before they lost the last first wicket you know shubman gill and ishan kishan really doing the business there for the indians at the top of the order you know um wickets were hard to come by it would um hard to come by it would appear uh the bits and pieces that i saw it was enough to see west indies feelers putting down catches i don't know how many catches that um went down but i'm almost sure that while i was in and out of meetings i actually saw about two catches going down so you know that 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 is something that you all can talk about also in the comment section uh romario shepherd he started off well for us as i said i saw um a few things a few things you know he started off well but the last couple of overs tailed off somewhat so he ended up with some figures you know that didn't look too good but in all honesty you know he started off um you know um in all honesty he started off well for us you know but it just so happened that things didn't didn't work out in, in the latter part um in terms let me just go through the the, the, the bowling so Jaden seals he bowled eight over 75 runs didn't pick up any wicket uh azari joseph bowled 10 overs he gave away 77 runs picked up one wicket goody kishmoti was the best of the lot based on what i am seeing here 10 overs one wicket 38 runs so not a lot of runs to give away under the circumstances right there um romario shepherd 10 overs 73 runs two wickets as i said he started off pretty well when i was watching him in the beginning but you know he tailed off somewhat Karaya, eight overs 73 runs uh two wickets uh well Karaya, sorry eight overs 58 runs one wicket shepherd is the one that bowled 10 overs 73 runs and two wickets kyle mears he bowled four overs and he gave away 25 runs didn't pick up any wickets so that is how it went for the bowler bowlers my peeps it was a tough day out there you know people like Goli Kish, um, people like ishan kishan sandra samson pandya um shubman gill all of these guys had a field day with the bat so things didn't work out too well for us at all now in terms of the batting as i said ishan kishan was good he made 77 of 64 deliveries shubman gill 85 from 92 sandra samson he got 51 from 41 pandya the standing captain made 70 of 52 yadav he got 35 of 30 so you know most of the guys that were expected to score runs for them got runs under their belt um in terms of how the wickets fell 143 for one 154 for two 230 uh 223 for three 244 for four 309 for five right um that is how it went when it was our time to bat now 
I actually saw the first couple of overs when we were batting. Um, but we lost wickets early, early, my peeps. You know, as I said, we were bowled out for 151. She hope, uh, well, Brandon King first, he made, he didn't score. Uh, Kyle Mears made four. Alec Arthur is once again showing, um, you know, his class, once again showing the ability to bat. He made 32. Uh, uh, 50 delivery she who made five carty uh, made six shemran hit maya made four so the switch actually happened the switch that i had suggested you know um carty batting in front of hit maya that happened uh didn't bore, uh, bear any fruit though romaria shepherd he made eight Korea made uh 19 alzari joseph 26 uh goodikish moti in the back end there finishing not out on 39 really putting in the fight you know seals he made one so that is how our batting went my people once again I, I i really apologize for those who were looking forward to hearing the analysis of how the batsman got out you know um just one of them things i didn't get a chance to see the games uh the the, 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 the game like that yeah, where the bowling is concerned for india takwar he took four kumar took uh three this is how we lost the wickets. 1 for 1, 7 for 2, 17 for 3, 35 for 4, 40 for 5, 50 for 6, 75 for 7, 88 for 8. And from 88 for 8, that is where some fight um, came in. Alzari, Joseph and Goodikish Moti, they buckled down and they were there fighting. So from 88 for 8, we went up to 143 for 9 to 151 all out. So it, it, it's not a lot my peeps is not a lot where our batting is concerned um it's really sad that we fold over like that you know i was really hoping that after we we, we we secured such a good victory in the second game we would have been able to go out there and do the job again the the, the difference is that you know we were able to pull out uh india pretty cheaply on that surface there and our batsmen were able to go in and chase down the score now Playing, playing over there in in, in, in in Trinidad. Once they got over the, that miles that that mark of 300, much as 350, you know, I I personally believe, you know, started to believe that that probably would have been a little bit too much for us to handle, and it turned out that way. So that is basically how it went, my peeps. Once again, for those who are new to the channel, this is for the new members. For those who are new to the channel, whether you are a new subscriber or you are just a passer, passer by just viewing uh, once again i apologize for not being um for not being able to give the full analysis of how the game went down most of who are al here already know that i i am a teacher by trade so today is the first day back at work so you know i i was only able to see bits and pieces so you know this is not me slacking off or, or, or giving up on, on on the west indies you know i i i I had meetings and, and a bag of things to deal with so just one of them things eh? that's why I'm saying I'm gonna be in the comment section looking forward to, to, to what you guys have to see as it relates to how the guys batted especially sports to the bone keeping it informed big up on yourself